welcome back so today's video i wanted to do a essentially a long-term autumn wardrobe planning video so every year for about three years now i've been kind of taking stock of what i really enjoy in terms of silhouette colorway and also types of clothing that I like to wear during autumn winter time and I would essentially invest in something that I know that I would get a lot of wear out of year after year. I've been doing this as I said for a couple years now so I just wanted to do a video all about it um, and yeah this year is no different. We're getting a little bit cooler temperatures now. This is now almost the end of September so definitely getting there and I'm getting very very excited about you know like a lot of people do the layers, the coziness and just a chance to kind of like like unwind and relax after quite a busy summer so yeah I'm going to break down this video into four categories the main things that I do like to shop for in terms of quality um, is knitwear uh, outerwear trousers so bottoms but and shoes so those four are usually the things you know when I'm browsing online and when I find something that I really like in terms of the silhouette and the colorway on the high street I tend to do a little bit of research to see if I can invest in something that's a little bit higher quality a little bit um, more expensive that will last me for a long period of time I'm going to first showcase the things that I already have in my wardrobe so things that have been you know either from the high street or from luxury brands or a bit like a more higher end of the high street brand um, so pieces that I have from there and then whether or not I want to replace it for this year with a better quality higher price point uh, same piece essentially and what is still on my wish list in terms of trends that I think I want to dabble in um, that I think would have longevity in my wardrobe as well so let's just get started the first category that I want to talk through is knitwear knitwear I feel like is always something that I really look forward to it's one of my favorite videos to watch I think it's just because what it emulates just is the type of like coziness and happiness that you'll feel when you wear it and it's also kind of the perfect excuse to feel warm and also feel a little bit more chic at the same time so naturally i do have quite a lot um but what i first want to talk through is actually the cardigan that i'm wearing so this one is actually just a beige um, cardigan from weekday but it is in what I would say is the perfect shade of beige um, it's just kind of a more taupey brown shade of beige I think there's some beiges that can air a little bit on the yellow side or the orange side but this one I feel like is a true cooler mole gray brown shade of cardigan and in terms of the shape I also really love as well and it has details that I always look out for in knitwear that makes it a little bit more expensive looking is when the ribbing on the cuffs is quite accentuated so that it sort of gives a little bit more texture and dimension to the cardigan i think a lot of um, cardigans if you're not careful they have very very thin ribbing at the bottom which can sometimes curl and just in general look a little bit um less luxurious if that makes sense so this cardigan i actually got on sale in 2020 the year 2020 i think but i think in terms of the um, fabric composition it is actually quite good yeah so it's 73% wool and 27% nylon and I got this for around 20 something pounds this isn't something that I'm actually looking to replace with a higher luxury brand because I don't see the point because it fits really well and the quality I think is also really well I don't feel kind of like a little bit hot and clammy when I do feel with like more synthetic fibers that are not as breathable especially in the winter time when you're layering a lot of different things at once it can get a little bit hot this cardigan I think is perfect so I'm not going to replace it and it's just definitely going to stay other pieces though this for example this jumper this one is from H&M I've had it for also two years I think 2020 was a big year for knitwear for me because we were at home a lot so I was buying quite a lot of knitwear that I can transition I got this in a size small i think it actually had quite a moment on social media back then when it first came out the shape and silhouette of this this knit i really really do love um but i do think that i kind of want to invest in something that's a bit warmer for example this one is 40 percent acrylic and 60 percent cotton so it's it has no kind of wool fiber content in it and it's something that i find can be a little bit breezy sometimes as you can see like it's a fisherman's knit 
material so it's actually quite kind of breathable and see-through which is good I think in the earlier um, autumn days but when it gets a little bit colder it's something that I kind of want to replace plus I haven't been the most careful with this knit and there are quite a lot of stains on it now like as you can see over here it's kind of gross um, so I won't go too much into detail but yeah I couldn't get them out but definitely the stripe jumper I think all over stripes with a white and black combination or even white and kind of a taupey beige color like this combination would be really suitable for me so it's just something that I will look out on another silhouette that I really love is a collared jumper so it's always something that I'm looking out for this one is actually new from and other stories that I bought this year and it is in medium size medium I think it's kind of blown out here and in real life it's less kind of milky chocolate and more kind of a dark chocolate color and it's a color combination that I really really love I think browns and navies together as a color combination is just something that I love I think ever since I was two and I was in daycare and then there was this brown and navy like toy car I always went for that one and ever since then I just think like the brown and navy combination color wise is just something that I find really soothing so yeah this is a dark chocolate brown jumper it's a traditional knit and I believe it is mostly wool content oh it's 51% nylon and 30% wool but and other stories knits especially these kind of like heavyweight fisherman knit ones I find really really comforting and the zipper on this one I really love as well it kind of like folds out like lapels when it's on the body and it's got kind of flared sleeves as well I don't know if you can tell from the shot here so yeah this is I think one of my only knits that I will probably get this season but obviously if I find a replacement for the stripe knit jumper as well like I will get that too but yeah I really love this one as well and yeah this is definitely going to be you know part of my core autumn wardrobe and when I say core autumn wardrobe I don't necessarily mean that this is a capsule wardrobe by any means I do love to shop and I love to you know dabble in trends here and there um, I think it's really nice to have some fun with your wardrobe so when I say core autumn wardrobe it's just pieces that I will recycle over and over again on top of the more trend led pieces another piece that I'm looking to actually replace that I've only had for one year Year. it's from Zara it's also a collared jumper it's just something that I really love I think because I have a shorter neck as well and quite a strong kind of square jaw I find that collar or polo necks that have kind of draws your eye line down towards a V section is quite flattering for me specifically so I really like those kinds of silhouettes and yeah I found that out uh, last year thanks to this jumper actually so I am very very thankful for this jumper but because it's not the best quality I have to say like Zara sometimes you can find something that's just amazing and will last you for years and years I've had pieces like that this jumper unfortunately isn't one of them so it's 17% nylon and 4% elastane and 53% polyester and 26% acrylic so essentially like all kind of synthetic materials and you can tell as well by the stretch that it has I don't know if you've like felt knitwear like this before where it just feels a bit like springy and stretchy and to me it's not like the coziest material to hang out in and it also has a really bad shedding problem so I don't know if you can tell but it's essentially bobbled quite a bit Again though, this isn't something that I want to replace immediately. I'm, I like to shop around for a little bit, especially when it comes to knitwear. They can get quite expensive when you go into the high quality range. So like, you know, 150 pounds to 200 pounds for a cashmere jumper. It's kind of a lot, so I'm not in a huge hurry or anything. And I do kind of want to dabble more into this kind of forest green color. I think it's quite flattering on my skin tone and with my hair color. Essentially, I kind of want to dress like a tree. <laughs> But, you know, it's just something that I'm not in a huge, huge hurry. And, you know, it's looking tired now, but it's not, like, absolutely falling apart. So I don't see, like, a rush in, in replacing it. But it's something that I'll keep my eye out on. This next one is definitely a staple in my wardrobe. And it's something that I've only had for about a year. But I've had a dupes of this. So this is something that I have replaced um, high street versions of. But even though it is still from the high street, this is from Arquette in the men's section. And it's a cashmere, full cashmere sweater. So it's just a gray crew neck sweater. And and it's a dark gray color as you can see over here I, it kind of blows it out when I come out a little bit but yeah it's a dark gray color I got this on sale in end of February this year I think 
for I think it was 40 pounds and it was originally 190 pounds so definitely if you're looking for high quality or high quality material pieces that are usually marked up severely definitely look into the winter sales if it's something that you know you'll be wearing year after year because these things do happen especially when they're trying to clear stock and bring out some like slight different variation for the new season they will definitely mark it down but the material is still really amazing and it's something that you know that you will wear if it's a silhouette that you already like so definitely look out for those so yeah i got this in february i obviously haven't worn it much because it then went into spring and it was quite warm for a long time but i'm bringing it out this year again and yeah i'm just quite proud of myself for that one to be honest so yeah this is the arquette knitwear and then last but not least, I also want to run through just a fun sweatshirt, I guess, like during the fall or winter times. I'm going to say fall because autumn kind of sounds weird to me. Um, fall slash winter times, it's a lot of, for me, dog walking, walks in the parks, going to coffee shops, things like that. And sometimes you don't want to wear kind of like a very heavy, chunky knitwear. So definitely sweatshirts also come into really handy propositions so this one is actually from acne studios i also have loads from um h&m and stuff like that they do really nice i think oversized sweatshirts but i buy mine in like three x's and four xls because i really like them to all be almost dress sized uh, for me but this one from acne i just wanted to invest as well i also bought this in the sale um so yeah i think i do a lot of my like investment shopping in the winter times even though it's like less satisfying because you can't really wear it for the rest of you know the five six months i know that i'll be whipping this out again like quite soon like this year so yeah it's, it's quite exciting actually to essentially shop your closet in the full time but yeah this is a acne studio sweater and it's very very long line as you can see i actually have this in a medium i think and because it is so big like it's all, i think a men's sweater as well um it's just something that i know that i can count on as well so yeah when i want to be a little bit more dress down more athleisure i dabble in athleisure but it's not necessarily a style that i find super comfortable for me personally um so i'll usually wear this with a tailored trouser or like um kick flare stretchy trousers um so yeah i think a sweatshirt definitely as well okay so knitwear took a little bit of time because i'm quite excited about knitwear but i promise i will go a lot faster now so the next category I want to talk about still on like the upper half portion of the body is outerwear. It's something that I always kind of look into in autumn slash winter time, but because they're quite bulky items and we don't have too much space in the flat, I don't tend to buy too much outerwear. That being said, I still have four in my core pieces wardrobe, so it's not really like um, that skimmed down essentially. But the first one I want to talk about is actually from Zara again. And it's in this color. It's a kind of dark forest green khaki color. And this essentially is what introduced me to a cropped flared um, aviator jacket style. So this, is, as you can see, is kind of like a buclo material, I think, for this season. Again, not in a huge rush because I want a real leather one. I want a real leather brown pebbled leather aviator jacket in this style. It's something that I'm looking out for. But it's not something that I'll probably replace for a while, so this is definitely staying in my wardrobe for quite some time. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this, actually, because I just think it really is very comfortable. You can layer knitwear underneath it, and I, it's a really nice crop style as well for when you don't want to have like a long trench coat dragging behind you at all times. Something that I always consider within outerwear is the colorway and also the silhouette i always need something that has a dropped armpit because you know especially when you come to the later ends of um the fall season it can get quite cold and you want to layer but you don't necessarily want a giant wool coat yet so that's something that i always look out for as well so this is another one i bought this also in 2020 um so i've had it for two years now this is another kind of aviator style jacket um slash shacket i think from and other stories it's not a traditional shacket in that it's actually lined um and it has really deep pockets and it just feels more kind of like a coat than a jacket um but it is kind of mid-length and has a herringbone kind of checkered material pattern i really love this one just because it's very warm it's very casual i always wear this one for dog walks and yeah it's just something that i'll keep i think in my wardrobe forever so that is one and then the next two are both trench coats and trench coats i really love it's something that i'm always looking at to buy more of but i feel like you know after you have two 
of like similar but different styles and colorways I think it's a little bit overkill if I'm buying a lot of trench coats So I'm, I'm going to kind of refrain this year and not buy any more Yeah, the first trench coat that I want to showcase is this one It's actually in kind of a burnt brown color I absolutely love this one This one I actually got in Antwerp in a thrift store, so it's thrifted um, but it's a men's trench coat. It has shoulder pads actually in here um, But I might actually remove it this year because I kind of want the full drape look um, And it's very very long. It's got a webbing as well in it And this is kind of like my detective trench coat. I like to call it. It kind of flows along It drapes really really long. It's very kind of floaty in the wind and everything So like yeah, that's kind of my detective trench coat. It was like 12 euros <laughs> It's like one of my proudest moments when I bought it like three or four years ago um, but my other trench coat is a more structured kind of long line and straight cut trench coat and it is this one by ASOS actually and you know what like this I might replace in a couple years time but I only got this last year so I think it has a couple more years in it so I'll wear it for you know a few more years and see how I feel and it's just a very kind of A-line shaped trench coat with black buttons very very classic it's got um, a little bit of a vent at the back but not one that will blow in the wind or anything it's quite kind of standard looking and this one I think is just my go-to sort of incognito trench coat when you know you are just wearing something and you just need something to layer on top of it because it's a little bit cold that one is always the one that I go to because it, it's very unassuming if that makes sense it doesn't really add or take away anything from your trench coat it just kind of cleans it up a little bit so i really enjoy that one as well so that's outerwear i think in terms of outerwear i don't have anything other than the leather aviator jacket which is super expensive and i still haven't found one that i really like that i'm looking out on but i'm not looking to replace any pieces that i already have in my wardrobe so i think i'm pretty set for outerwear which is good i think and then next up is trousers trousers i actually think except for one thing that i want to get i'm pretty set on for the whole year um, trousers for autumn slash winter for a couple years now I've always been on the lookout for and I've had quite a few now that you know I think are quite like staples in my wardrobe so I don't actually see myself replacing any of these or the need to replace any of these so this is pretty much what you see is what you get um, but yeah the first two pairs are jeans so I just kind of want to go through the silhouettes of jeans that I like for autumn time and the first one is kind of a balloon leg these these are just from Levi's and they are a light wash balloon leg jean I've always tried to dabble in kind of mid wash slash dark wash jeans but I just find that for me it feels a little bit weird unless it's a true blue um, and I'm quite particular about the washes of jeans and I find that you know kind of just a true light wash does me very very well so I've actually had these for about four years now and I don't see myself removing them or doing anything else to them at all so they're pretty perfect for me they're just called the balloon leg jeans I have them in a size 29 it's like a perfect kind of looser oversized for me so yeah first pair Levi's a balloon leg jeans and then the other pair actually this is a replacement from last year's because the Zara size indicator told me to go for a size 14 so I did and it was way too big so I actually gave them away but then now this year I bought them in a size 12 which is like a nice kind of oversized baggy look which is what this entails oh it's big but yeah they're, they're kind of ripped knees <laughs> Bit of funny angle ripped in the knees and kind of a traditional wide leg jean so you can see the bottom versus the top is quite similar it tapers a little bit in like the knee section but yeah very very high waisted and very kind of easy to pair especially with longer line sweaters which i really like for the autumn slash fall time so those are jeans and then the rest of the trousers i essentially like a high-waisted um wide leg tapered trouser so kind of wider kind of on the thigh slash hip area because I have larger thighs and dips um, and then sort of kind of just straight down essentially so those are the types of trousers that I like and the first of the ones where it helped me figure out what style I like was actually a Philippa K trouser I saw an influencer wear this I think it was Lizzie Hadfield um, and it looked amazing on her and I bought it during one of their lockdown sales so I've also had this pair for a while so this was actually called the Julie trouser I got it in a size 40 it is a little bit big but I kind of like it that way it, it's quite dra uh, drapey and sort of um 
oversized essentially but yeah this is called the julie trouser i think they have actually discontinued this specific one but i think they brought out another one under another name that's very very similar i can put that up as well and this is essentially my definition of the perfect trouser it's just a navy and you know it was an investment i think it was 160 pounds or something after um even after the discounts and stuff so that definitely hurt for a pair of trousers but you know i've been wearing them for two autumns and two winters now and this will be its third so definitely i think i got my money's worth so this is definitely my favorite favorite pair of trousers and then another pair is a black trouser so essentially i have a very similar shapes in different colors so that they'll just go um, I, I find that when it comes to trousers I know what I like and I'll tend to stick to it because it's quite difficult to that I find to shop for trousers that I feel comfortable in so I usually just find a silhouette and stick to it and this one is from Acne Studios it's got kind of two double pleats on the sides here and this is actually a mid-rise um, and not a high-rise. I I was kind of thinking about getting rid of this, selling this, and getting a high-waisted pair. But actually, now that I think of it, it's quite nice, actually, to have a mid-rise pair. And it has a kind of crease at the front. Same sort of silhouette as the Philippa K trousers and just a nice black addition as well. And then... Last but not least, this is the newest pair from Arquette. It's actually in a mole kind of taupey color. I really, really love this one. Um, and yeah, this is called the Hop Sack Wool Trouser. I think they've been bringing this back over and over again for years now. Um, and it's got quite a lot of belt loops, which I really enjoy in a pair of trousers because you just kind of need the belt. That's an issue that I do find with the Acne Studios trousers is that the back only has two belt loops over here. So in the middle of the belt, it will either flop down a little bit or jut out a little bit. So that's kind of annoying. However, it's not a deal breaker or anything. But with the Arquette trousers, the belt loops, I think are evenly positioned and there's enough of them to actually keep your belt in place. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. Again, front pleats with a bit of a side crease or front crease in the middle this one is a little bit tighter i got this in a size 38 maybe i should have just gone for a 40 um but i think lengthwise it's actually perfect and i wanted to wear this with kind of more long line sweaters anyway so i think it works out one last but not least trouser that i am kind of on the lookout for is a pair of frankie shop gelso trousers in the gray colorway i think it's just something that is quite classic and um, I've seen other people wear it before and it looks really really kind of timeless and yeah It's just something that I'm thinking about. I'm not necessarily in a huge rush to get it because I think I have quite a lot of trousers already um, But you know if I find a good deal or I can get a discount code somewhere then it's something that I will look to invest in So yeah Next up is shoes and actually I do have an additional bonus category which is bags as you can see here But that will only take like two minutes. So stick with me Um, so shoes I think in terms of like what I shop for it's quite simple. It's usually just boots and sneakers um, but my three core pairs Two of which are new actually, but maybe I can't really call them core pairs But I think you know in terms of the silhouette That's kind of what I like to go for and you know You know how when you buy something and you kind of instantly know that this is something that you'll have for a long long time um, So yeah, the first pair is actually a pair of boots and this one I actually again got in the sale and it's by a brand called Legress I really really love this one because it sits a little bit higher on the on the leg so it's kind of bypasses the fatter part of your shin is kind of what I'm thinking about and then it goes up so it's quite slimming as well as you can see the silhouette is quite like um, tight fitting around your ankle which I really really like and in terms of like the sole it's so minimal to the point where it's not going to detract anything from your outfit and it's also extremely easy to pair this is one of my favorite favorite boots and it has an almond toe right here and then a little bit of a tapered heel so that you're not kind of scraping the floor as you walk sometimes as well so i love how they thought about that and the elastic on this is very very strong and it's completely leather lined and it's just it, the quality of it honestly the second you hold it into your hand you can feel so i definitely very much recommend like res i got it on sale so definitely i think you can quite easily do that as well just have to kind of be on the hunt a little bit just go to stockists i think those um usually will clear out the stock for new seasons so they have more urgency i think to discount things so that you can kind of slide in there but the only thing i would say about these boots is that it's completely kind of a flat rubber sole 
sorry this is kind of gross so don't wear it in the snow like i did because i went to berlin and it was completely snow and sleet and i had to grab onto the handrails and everyone around me otherwise i would just flat, fall flat on my face i actually think i did once but yeah still highly recommend them these are just legress kind of plain black ankle boots i think it's quite um, a staple anyway i always struggle with knee-high boots because i have wide calves so i have yet to find a pair of kind of knee-high black boots that's actually something i'm on the hunt for but i'm not in a huge hurry to get them either because i wear a lot of trousers as you can see from um, my pile over there so it's not like i have too many occasions for knee-high boots anyway even though i love the look of them anyway so yeah next up is sneakers this one is actually new the new balance 550s so you can see that um it's just all white and then it has a gray kind of accent at the bottom i really love that i actually just did a new balance um comparison video so i'll put that up as well soon um but yeah this one i can immediately just tell will just go with everything the shape of it is 100 percent what i really love it has kind of more of a elevated look but still being quite chunky that's something that i think i struggle with with like nike and adidas is sometimes they have too much going on here that i find that it's a little bit super athleisure and i don't really feel the most comfortable in that so yeah i like how plain this is essentially and then last but not least a nice pair of birkenstocks and these ones are actually called the boston no Birkenstock London's I got that wrong already um, But it's essentially the Birkenstock Boston's which I've had for ages like I've had it since 2019 I think and they're getting a little bit gross and I've always kind of wanted a taupe colorway But the one thing that I find about the Boston's is that they tend to like to fly out of my feet because I like to wear thick socks So I saw these London's and they were on sale as well So I was like, okay, let's just go for it and it's in the tea color I think it's the, quite a standard kind of brown yellowy color that Birkenstock do and yeah if this is essentially a replacement or like an addition to the Boston's that I already have but yeah these are shoes and then last but not least accessories I think when it comes to bags in the fall slash winter time I'm quite especially in the fall time I'm quite a creature of habit I like the brown bags during autumn time because I want to match with the leaves so these are the bags that I have so the first two I think will come to no surprise to anyone when if you've seen any of my other videos you know how much I love my Louisville puzzle bag and it's in the perfect autumnal color in my opinion perfect shape and the perfect shade and the perfect accent with the gold hardware for autumn outfits I think anything with the Louisville puzzle bag during this time of year it's just beautiful like even with kind of mole brown trousers i think it complements the colors really really well so yeah this is honestly something that i always wear already anyway but during the autumn winter times it really just comes out in full force really so loewe puzzle bag love it and then the next one is actually this one my louis vuitton passy really good for all weathers because it's all canvas and then you know the gold hardware and everything it actually adds a little bit of accent and it's just very very handy in terms of a flat bag sometimes i like the idea of a chain detail over knitwear i just feel like it adds a little bit of shine and sparkle to an otherwise all knitted all heavy look um so i think it kind of breaks it up a little bit with the metal chain so yeah this is another one of my absolute staples now i'm actually so glad i bought this bag it was a little bit of an impulse buy if i've um i think i've done a video on this explaining but it's definitely been a bag that i always carry when i don't know what to carry so definitely an amazing one to have and then last but not least is actually a new addition to my wardrobe which is a by far bag this is called the by far amina i believe and this essentially just screamed Gilmore Girls. I don't know if um, you remember, but in season four to season five, Lorelai has this bag that's black and it has a lot of little pockets on it and even a front pocket like this. And she's always wearing it in those episodes. And I just love that show, especially during the fall and winter times. So yeah, this is essentially my Lorelai bag, I was calling it. But yeah, it's in a suede color and very, very kind of 2000s slash 90s. But a long enough strap drop look how long this is so that it actually can fit over chunkier knitwear i got this on the outlet not too long ago so definitely recommend looking at that it wasn't low stock or anything so hope that you can get it if you wanted it but i absolutely love this one and by far bags i feel like is the most underrated brand of non-luxury luxury bags because you can actually get it for high street prices when you hit the sales but the quality is insane like you can like the zipper 
feels so nice and even the hardware finishings it's got by far etched in it um, and it's just got really like every detail is thought out for example the strap is also flat so that it can sit flat and flush against your body so that it doesn't slide off and everything and yeah I just can't say enough good things about by far I have two by far bags now and I think I want more um, definitely not in a rush obviously but it's just you know like it's just one of those brands that I feel like you start to trust when you have like two really good products from them it's just something that i'm going to add to my list of like perusing and browsing and stuff like that so yeah this is bags so that is everything in terms of like my products and things that i want to purchase i also was kind of looking into you know chanel ballet flats i know that those are quite big this year and i think with slouchy trousers they look quite nice but they are very expensive so i'm thinking about maybe getting a pair from marks and spencers or something like that to see if i will wear it um just to try it out before i actually decide that it's it's something that suits my style i haven't worn ballet flats or anything since high school so it's been quite a while so i'll have to see but yeah i i hope this video kind of makes sense i was showcasing things that um i already have what i like about it and what i'm looking out for as a result and you know this is how i build my core autumn slash winter wardrobe i don't really have one in the summer times to be honest because I don't feel necessarily super inspired by summer and in the summertime I usually go for color or patterns that I'll get maybe sick of in the next seasons to come so it's usually something that I buy off of the high street or just second hand so it's not something that I feel particularly inspired by but with autumn I think a lot of people love the season because it's quite predictable everyone goes to do the same ish things everyone's looking forward to the same ish holidays quite similar year on year so there's kind of comfort and the stability in that I guess and it's just something that you know I know what I'm looking out for I know what I want to replace and yeah it's, it's quite a kind of ritual or routine-istic thing if, if that's even a word so that's why I enjoy it so much and that's why you know every year I'm okay investing a little bit more money in the pieces that I've tried out on the high street that I want to replace with you know either a better uh, material content quality wise or just design wise I wanted to adjust a few things so yeah that's the video hope it was helpful and if you have any questions let me know and I will see you in the next video if you like this sort of stuff definitely subscribe yeah see you in the next video bye